Brothers, today we have uh, our uh, a brother from Pakistan, uh, Nadeem, uh, Imran, Imran Nadeem Saab. And Imran Nadeem Saab is going to share his uh, persecution story with us. So Imran Saab, if you can just briefly introduce yourself and what was your responsibilities in Pakistan in Jamaat. Um, my name is Imran Nadeem. Uh, before coming to UK, I was living in Lahore. And uh, I was rendering my services as Nair Nazmit Hall, regional Lahore. Exactly. And uh, before you came here, obviously we will go into into, into that discussion. But uh, what uh, I believe you were involved in uh, the Lahore incident. So if you can just please uh, briefly tell us uh, what happened um, in Lahore, uh, which mosque you were uh, when the Lahore incident took place on 28th of uh, May and uh, what was you doing at that time? Uh, on 28th of May, I normally used to offer uh, Juma prayer near my mosque, uh, near my shop. But on 28th May, uh, it was I think God's wish that He takes me to the the Darujikar uh, mosque. Uh, so I uh, entered the mosque near about one o'clock, and after having my wuzu, I go in the main hall in the Darujikar and uh, I sit in the sixth row from the dais and uh, just uh, after the uh, uh, Friday sermon started, 10 minutes past, the, uh, we hear the very loud uh, firing noise from the outside and first of all we think that perhaps it's a sort of a street firing but right after a few minutes when the there was a very uh, the intense sound raises and um, there was a khudam running towards the main hall having the bloods on their clothes and then we came to know that it's a very severe attack on our mosque we at once uh, we closed the sliding doors and uh, we say uh, kept uh, thinking that we are safe now but they entered from the wooden small doors after uh, destroying them with their hand grenades and firing. So they were heavily armed gunmen, uh, and uh, that was just in few minutes while the khutbah was just started. They raided into the mosque, yeah. and uh, and obviously they came with uh, lots of weaponry and hand grenades as well. Yeah. Um, obviously that was already shocking to see all this happening in front of your eyes. Uh, can you just share us? Uh, what, why do you think, what was your first feeling that why they just suddenly came in? Is it, it is a terrorist attack or is it something to do with your with your beliefs or, or, or you being an enemy? Yeah, surely it was a fully uh, terrorist attack due to our, because we were Ahmadis and uh, the Jamaat Ahmadiyya Lahore was uh, receiving threats right few days before I myself uh, read a news in the uh, uh, afternoon newspaper that Ahmadiyya Jamaat uh, is uh, uh, getting threats from Taliban and from uh, such kind of extremists. But as we were not allowed to have arms and weapons for our own protection, uh, so it was fully due to our faith. Uh, and uh, so you, so you saying that it's 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 the sheer hatred against the Ahmadis in Pakistan uh, that they came to attack uh, on on our on our mosques. Uh, uh, the the other thing is the what was what was your feeling uh, when the incident was going through these in, in these two mosques? Uh, I mean, I know my feeling. I was obviously in the UK and I was very worried about the people in the mosque at that time, and it was all showed pretty much live on on televisions. Uh, so, what was going through your mind at that time? Are you going to survive this attack uh, and what was your feeling about the brothers? Uh, yeah, uh, right after the attacks, uh, Alhamdulillah, the, the, uh, our Jamaat uh, faced this uh, very terrified attack with very patience and there was not uh, rears and chaos. Uh, everyone right started the reciting Dhru Sharif and uh, I received a phone call from my mother. Uh, she came to know by some other uh, from media TV and they asked, uh, advised me to just to recite the Dhul Sharif and uh, but uh, when she 
came uh, heard the news uh, sorry noise of uh, firing and bullets she st start crying and weeping and i switch off the phone so that i prevent the calling from outside and uh, uh, I, the first thing I came to my mind was that uh, because uh, when I was I was seeing the taking last breaths of many of my friends, and uh, I was uh, your friends were dying in front of you. yeah yeah in front of me and was taking their last breath, and I there were not in uh, more than forty or fifty in the hall, and uh, the first thing I was shocked because when I came to know that when Hazur will. Uh, listen this shocking news if they uh, rather than me i zur will be gonna very in uh, get worried about the jamaat which uh, became so instead of your own worry you were worried about hazur and you were thinking about hazur yes. and hazur who heard this news and how grief would be for him yeah, yeah. same for him and this i news. discussed this with my brother who was sitting with me that it is a very big instance in the history of jamaat india we can't uh, even imagine that uh, such type of terrified uh, incident will be happening with us but it will happen on the day now that 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 show your love to to towards the khalifa uh, jazakallah uh, just want to move on uh, when the incident was happening and, and as you said that you were reading the ru sharif and and while the whole incident was going on uh can you just briefly tell us the bravery of the khudam or the members of the jamaat at that time when the incident was happening how they how they were showing their bravery alhamdulillah i uh, seen a uh, lot more instances of bravery uh, when we were uh, in a cluster of people were sitting in the courtyard of the mosque <coughs> uh, i see one of my friend very khadam was uh, Uh, was in a state of prostration and bowing in the main like there were very severe shower of bullets and grenades but i was really strange to see him that he was in the state of sajda and was uh, weeping and crying and uh, i think uh, uh, just at the same time i confront uh, saw the terrorist uh, was uh, come from the main hall and he was having gun uh, and He just start the firing upon our cluster of people, and there the bullets were right. I think not more than five six inches from my head, and damages the wall behind me. And I think I was damn sure that the, the same Khadam rushes towards the terrorist and uh, embrace him. And uh, at this, so I, I it was my eyewitness uh, incident which I see. and then after i got the chance to um, get escape in the basement and there was uh, one and a half people were uh, uh, hiding in the basement and there was very suffocation and hot because in, in the obviously the month of may people there, yeah. Yeah, there was so yeah, everyone was silent and uh, reciting guru shri and pray, prayers in uh, under uh, their lips and no one i was strange really because everyone was uh, consoling each other and uh, satisfying each other giving the words of comfort and not a uh, one was uh, there was a riots and uh, so alhamdulillah uh, one of my uh, yeah i come to know one of my uh, khadam i don't know from which way he was he when we were in basement and we, there was not a, a way of escape and so Uh, it was sure that when the terrorists will come in this, if come in this basement, there was not as a way of escape. So we will surely we were thinking that if he will come now, it's the last basement. Now we will be uh, dead after a few minutes because we I really see uh, him when I come upstairs and see he was uh, walking in the courtyard having lashing his gun and uh, he was fully having his jacket uh, filled with the. Uh, 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 Suicide jacket. Yes. Mm. So, uh, but uh, so uh, one of the khadam came said to me that now we will not surrender. Uh, we grasp the four khadams uh, hands with each other and said that now we will uh, encounter him and we will uh, will check him and we stop him by going into the main uh, basement and we just stand on the entrance of the basement and waiting for her, uh, him when he come and we will stop him to. 
but uh, alhamdulillah uh, one of our khadam uh, right from the coach yard before he comes in the uh, basement he just uh, rushes to him and uh, then he blasts uh, himself with the suicide jacket and it was a very uh, loud noise which i myself feel because all the walls and in were shivering and uh, then i uh, no uh, i uh, said go in the state of sajda and start crying and praying from uh, god that may god please uh, forgive uh, us and uh, also because i was thinking that now it's our end uh, time of life when we will not be so more than survive and jazakallah and and that goes to show that uh, how brave the khudams were uh, even at that time in in the face of in the face of death uh did you had any 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 dreams afterwards uh, after going through this experience or you had any dreams before uh, this incident yes yeah. which, which you think might be related to this incident right uh, the same night of the 28th may when night before i uh, was not able to sleep for not for a single minutes because uh, i was was very disturbed and uh, feeling this as a so then like something is going to happen and uh, it was a state which i think it passed from the god and that. obviously it, it was a very gru- grueling experience for you did you had any mulaqat with huzur or any communication with huzur after you came out of this yeah right for after few days we got phone calls from huzur alhamdulillah it was very source of great uh, satisfaction and comfort from huzur which uh, encouraged us a lot and uh, only it, it was the alhamdulillah by the god's grace and huzur's prayers which he stands us and uh, get us uh, on the state of godliness at the end if you would, would you like to share any any uh, any thoughts with with the khudam or a message for khudam uh, of of uk jamaat yeah alhamdulillah uk khudam should uh, Uh, know the worth of these liberal uh, religious liber- liberty here and uh, they should be uh, know the pain which uh, the uh, pakistani khudams are uh, giving the intense sacrifices there and should thanks to god and should keep on praying for their khalifa and also and now you are here are you taking part in the league and jamaat activities alhamdulillah as far as uh, I'm trying my best to render my services in the Jokai Jamaat and uh, very happy here and, and having a lot more uh, liberty. Uh, liberty. You're very active, Masha. Yeah. Okay. Jazakallah for sharing, sharing uh, thoughts and experience with us. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah. Jazakallah.